Hello everyone. And welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will explain to you how to create Restore Point automatically on all client computers, on Windows Server 2019 domain. I will do this using Group Policy. And create a new policy that helps all computers to create an automatic Restore Point. And regularly. If you want to save time, and effort for the organization that you are responsible for. You can do this through a domain running Windows Server 2019. And I will explain the steps for creating an automatic restore point step by step. At first, open the Server Manager console. After opening Server Manager, open the Tools menu at the top right. And then, click on Group Policy Management. Now, I will create a new policy. Open the domain. Then right click on the group policy object, and from the menu, click on new. Then, type a name for the new policy. You must enter a name indicating the policy so that it is easy to find it later. Then press the OK button. Then right click on the new GPO, and select the edit option. After opening the Group Policy Management Editor, go to the path that appears in front of you on the screen. Expand the Computer Configuration folder. After reaching the track, look at the right side, and click on Turn Off System Restore. Disable this option. Then press the Apply button, then the OK button. Then, I will open another path. Close all. Then expand the Computer Configuration fold. Then follow the path that appears in front of you on the screen. After reaching the track, look to the right, and click on Create a System Restore Point. Enable the option called Create a System Restore Point. Then press the Apply button. Then the OK button. You can now close the Group Policy Management Editor, so that I have created the new policy, that will create the Restore Point automatically on all client computers joined to the domain. The last step is to link the policy to the organizational unit you want. Until it is applied to the client's computers. I'm going to link it to the group called test for the experiment. Then, I will link it to the domain. I hope the video is useful to you. And thank you for watching. And I will be happy if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you.